If you're looking for a totally unique and adventurous way to explore Adelaide, then this is the experience for you. We're on the way to a mysterious ship graveyard and hopefully we'll be joined by some locals. My favourite animals, dolphins. Just a half hour drive from the Adelaide CBD, you'll find Garden Island where Adventure Kayaking SA launched their tours from. If you're an animal lover, prepare to be wowed immediately as the starting point for your paddle is the Adelaide Dolphin Sanctuary. This is the world's first dolphin sanctuary and home to the unique Port River Dolphin. There we go, dolphin just here. Dolphin! Such a good start to the day when we get dolphins. Absolutely. Elise, I can't believe we've just set off on the water and we've already seen dolphins. Yeah, that's so magic. It doesn't happen every day, but we do get that on occasions. There are over 40 dolphins that live here um, all the time and about 400 that visit throughout the year. Oh, I feel relaxed the moment I see them. Yeah, that's it. This is the only place in the world where a large population of wild dolphins live in the middle of a city. More often than not, the dolphins really want to come up and um, explore us, check us out. So it's pretty fortunate when you get them paddling or swimming right under your kayak, but it happens a lot. Here, little dolphins. Yeah, where's he gone? Feel free to visit us. <laughs> so we'll leave those dolphins to it. Um, we don't want to spend too much time hanging around the area. We'll let them get back to their fishing and we'll go and explore some mangrove creeks. The Port Adelaide River is stunningly beautiful and your three-hour tour allows you to take it all in at a leisurely pace. I can't believe how relaxing this is. Yeah, it's beautiful out here. Best job in the world, I say. Absolutely. And people like that it's an adventure, but it's so close to home. You know, we're 30 minutes away from the Adelaide CBD. We've had people in their 90s come out. They can just sit in the front of the kayak and be paddled around. We've had little children who can sit in a double or sit on top with their parents. The Port Adelaide River is lined by spectacular mangrove trees, uniquely adapted to grow in salty water. So coming across to this mangrove forest, it's actually the southernmost mangrove forest in all of Australia. Really? This thriving forest is an unbelievable 7,000 years old. Yep, old growth forest. And it makes you feel insignificant here paddling <laughs> along. Luckily for us, on this tour, we're able to venture into the forest by a small creek known as Little Amazon and only accessible by kayak. See, I feel like we've entered a whole other world from where we've been. Some of the trees in the mangroves are between 400 to 600 years old. Just mind your head as you take it all in. The river of Port Adelaide has been used as a shipping channel since European settlement in 1836. It's a marine history that manifests like a ghost ship before you as you paddle towards a mysterious ship graveyard. So this ship here is called the Santiago. She's actually our oldest ship in the ship's graveyard. And she's um, historically significant in terms of maritime history because she's believed to be the last remaining iron-hulled sailing boat in existence. So we're really lucky to have her right here in relatively good condition. <laughs> she's a little bit looking like she could do with a scrub. Wear. The San Diego took her maiden voyage in 1856 and was laid to rest here in 1945. And how many ships do we have in the graveyard? So we've got over 20 ships here in the graveyard. Um, they weren't run aground here, they were more just left here and they were decommissioned and no longer needed. Your day on the river will leave you feeling like an early explorer, having navigated uncharted waters, interacted with wildlife and peeked into abandoned ships. All that and you'll skip back to city life in no time with some well-toned muscles. What a fun and physical way to get out of the city and explore one of Adelaide's hidden hotspots. I feel like I've been let in on a bit of a secret that not even locals know about. Absolutely magical.